手置きを見せてやる All right, so in this one, we are going to be using LF Cell. Obviously, now with a new green unit, LF Cell, surprisingly, the uh, ANSI hybrid, very good future unit, well, the better purple sleep and run in PvP today. Does he not have an alternate thing he could do with his art? Not just the background changes. Okay, um, but we're going to be using because, again, he counters out trunks. Like, simple fact, he does extra damage to the hybrid. He does more when they have a revival. They bring like a hybrid setup of the rival Gohan or the green rival Gohan for some reason. You would just, well, have Cell there and stomp out the hybrids as he was intended to do. His initial release obviously came out and hybrids are already on their decline, but he really put the uh, nail in the other nail in the coffin. Because again, hybrids are already like dying out at that point, but Cell, he existed, he came out. And then Saiyans obviously rose as a team with like 8 Vegeta coming out. And then Cell really didn't have much value for that. Then he got his plot equipped, became a top tier unit. He still is very top tier. I wouldn't say he is uh, lacking. It's just you have Ultra Vegeta who is arguably number one, number two, number three, whatever. Top three, minimum. Uh, best unit in the game. And then you have Tapion who's at least top 10. I've heard actually a lot of downplay Tapion saying he's not even top 10. No, he, he's at least top 10. Tapion is... Probably like 6 or 7 in my book. He's hovering with Vegito Blue in an area of like 6, 7, 8-ish they could go to. But he's definitely not below top 10. So you have two top 10 yellows. And it's obvious that all is purple. And he does have a good coverage of the droids. You know, red's purple, right? But it's just not enough for a cell because he's a very glass-based unit. It's not like he does bad damage. It's just he's glass. He needs some sustainability. His only sustainability is off his gauge and his main. And, well... That's not enough. It's just simple as that. If it were enough, you'd be seeing him more. But you don't see this cell. You see him about as much as you see Chilled on LOE actually brought into a match. You might see Chilled. You might see him on bench. You might just not see him in general. But the actual usage of him is just not high. And now with Trunks, I would assume cell's usage goes up through the stocks if we do have a lot of Trunks running on PP, which, unfortunately, as the LF post anniversary. I don't really see him much, but it has been only a few days here, so maybe we will see him over time more and more, especially when he does return eventually. We'll see a lot of chunks again, so we'll just re retain and maintain that value when he does come back. More hybrids come out. You know, uh, the go on from the movie, by the way, movie comes out tomorrow for me, uh, when I'm going to watch it at least. Obviously, it does come out tonight for people. People actually might be watching it right before this video. It leaves a 7.30 showing, so if you are watching it, you know, Enjoy the movie. Uh, after I watch the movie tomorrow, which is at 7.30 for me, I'll be referring to, you know, this form of this character or this form of this character. So, apologies if you don't see it by tomorrow, but, I mean, everyone's going to probably see it by tonight anyways and early tomorrow, and I'm seeing it late tomorrow. So, yeah, it'd be like that, unfortunately, for those who don't see it. But, team-wise, we do have here on a future setup just because I want to run his best equipment, which is the future pure. And that future uh, alongside him is pretty nice. You could say, hey, run Tapion, just run a POS setup. But I do want him on the best peer equip setup, which again is future. Red Goku giving strike attack and defense to the entire team for the bench. Rose, I believe, is 37% to strike attack defense. And then uh, Pio and Gaki. So it's Monster Goku Black and Vegito Blue because Vegito Blue is leader slot because he's going to miss out on some stuff if he's not. He's getting... Uh, Blast attack, 18%, if I'm not mistaken here. Rosé has a good Z ability, at least in that aspect. Yeah, 55%, which is high. Uh, 21 is Zenkai buffing Cell and giving HP to Regen or Future. So, obviously, uh, not Future. <laughs> Regen or Android, obviously, got the Leader Slot of Gito Blue, so he gets it because he's only on Future here alongside the other tags. But, you know, the one that's predominantly here is Future. And then the other two are also getting that HP again. Zankai buffing Cell. It's Moscow Black, I believe, is double defense. And then Strike Attack to, uh, what is it, Regen Future or PO? Oh, yeah. Regen or Future, uh, or God or Future, rather, gets double defense. And then Strike Attack if you're Future and PO, which is Cell, which is your double leader slot. And then obviously, Moscow Black are that. So everyone's getting that additional there. Cell getting Strike Attack defense. I believe Vegeta Blue is also getting Strike Attack defense. Equip wise for Cell. Obviously, do you have his plot equip here, which will be very strong. One of the best plot equips in the game. Probably number two, number three. Uh, it's one of the best plot equips in the game. Double defense for uh, unit-specific characters, obviously. Double defense, gear recovery critical there. Double uh, attack here, damage inflicted, and then health restore there. And then the red slot, third slot. 35% to own unique gauge battle starts, and 15% to base health. 
following up on the equips. These are all his best equips, by the way. Blast Spell, Spell Shoot Damage, Ult Damage, and Strike Attack. And then the Future Peer, which is Double Defense and Peer Strike when uh, Future Bat Members. Obviously, 18% peak because we have all Future Allies. Zenkai Buff Cell, best equip setup, all Red Slot, but... Sorry. Three Red Slot uh, <laughs> on the other two. Three non-Red Slots on these equips here. Basically idealized. He has only 13 stars. Sadly, he's not 14, but he's not even missing out on actual stat increase. It's just... His ability is 5% less, right? Yeah, just 5% less, which boo-hoo, cry me a river. He'll be all right. Stat-wise, he's vibing, honestly. You know, he is, what? We're at DBL 49 right now, right? Um, So he is nine months old. Damn, he's nine months old. Holy shit. This game ages for go by. <laughs> God, it goes by so quick. Wow. Well, he has good stats for nine months old. Compare him to, let's say, I mean, anybody modern, if I can... I don't want to compare it to Rosé. I just want to show stats for comparison. That's all I want to do here. I don't want to compare it to shit to your Rosé. Who, uh, honestly, his stats probably aren't even the worst. But, again, just to look at... Where is Cell? To look at Cell, I believe Ape came right before or after Cell. 260, 249, 168, 168. I guess compared to somebody modern, like, sort of hope Trunks. Not too modern, but he's a month after him, right? Yeah, stat spread is very comparable in defenses and the offenses and every single aspect. I know Trunks isn't, you know, the most broken unit, but... He's probably like a top 20, top 15 unit cell hovering in the same range of top 15 slash top 20. And maybe he gains more value and goes up because of, uh, well, Trunks. And if Trunks is used a lot and Trunks is very good, actually cell gains value. If there's a green and there this tag and there this, then the unit that counters out this tag and is this color is going to gain more value, right? I've heard a lot of talk about Trunks. Some people saying he's a complete dog shit. Some people saying he's better than Dragon Fist and Vegeta. And it's like... I I don't know. Uh, I even struggled to compare them to Vegeta. I don't know if they're even comparable because they really don't want to be compared to each other because they don't even go on the same teams, but you kind of run them together. It does work as well, but that's a different discussion. Why we're not using the droids is because the droids are going to carry. Nah, I don't want the droids to carry. I want this to be a Cell video. I want to see what Cell can do. Obviously, Cell wants to be with the droids, Vegeta Blue, and then himself, which would be Blue, Red, Purple, which is good, but I want to see what Cell can do. Uh, Smash Quick Black gives Strike Attack uh, support on Swap Out, and I believe a health back, like 5% on Swap Out, so kind of going for that idea. But with that being said, let us see how LF Cell can do, and is he truly the counter to the new LF Trunks? Double Ultra's Dragon Fist, and if you're wondering why not my bench, um, we already have HP bench, so I know my has the best HP bench, I believe, in the game, technically, but... We already have an HP bench, so I feel the need to run two would just be uh, goofy. I'm predicting a swap, so let's do this. Well, over-predicted, but I guess we could see Cell on a disadvantage setup here, which isn't the worst thing, because his damage seems to be fine. Also, Cell does have infinite card draw speed, if you don't know. If you don't know Cell's kit, it's basically he has big damage inflicted on entry, he gets more with the gauge, and then, well, he has card draw speed and he does a lot of stuff. Basically. Okay, we'll wait. You're patient. Not patient enough, unfortunately. We'll go for a strike quickly. I'm anticipating something. Are you? Wow, you're real. You are the realest of the real. You really didn't swap there. All right. Uh, we're going to see something interesting. No. Why didn't it go to sell? I. What? I. He's clicked. He was clicked. Doesn't matter. We got cover change still, but you know. Maybe I could have done something cool. I don't know. Thank you, appreciate it. He could swap into Vegito for a rush, unfortunately, so I can't really go for anything crazy. His Mosco Black's built very defensively. If you're wondering uh, why the output's not going to be the craziest, they're built for defense because they're built to last in this uh, team. Okay. Cell can't destroy Dragon Ball and cover change, by the way. It's a risky to cover change, but you know. I mean, it's still a destroy Dragon Ball, so we'll take that. And a card. I didn't think he'd swap there. There was no real need to swap there, actually, so... It's a welcome surprise. Uh, Cell's gonna beat the shit out of somebody here, and there is no argument against this. Okay. If you want to, some reason, swap to Vegito and let him die, go for it. Alright, Gogeta's down. Um, did I pass Bosco Black screen card? Shit. I forget. Well, I guess we'll see here. Did I? I did. He still has Vanish. No, he... I did it! Oh, I'm dumb! Oh, you're dumb. Goodbye. Good luck. Uh, Dragon Fist can do this. He's 
more than capable of doing this, I just feel like Vegito probably was a little bit better off in this spot. You can see Cell doing good damage to even Ultra Vegito, by the way. It's not really like he's lacking anywhere. Let's just go for this blast. It is what it is. You want to kill him out? Go for it. If you pop main prior to uh, Cell coming in, then this is just a big W. And I could honestly cover change with Cell here. Yeah, destroy Dragon Ball. Oh no. Oh, well. Cell runs away. <laughs> Wait, did I already destroy two Dragon Balls? I didn't realize. Okay, well, if you're forced to pop main here and I have my blue unit out, that sucks. <laughs> uh, well, this is not good for you. Go for it, man. I, I don't mind Zamasu and Black. I mean, if they do die here, dying. Yeah. Great. Don't really, don't really matter to me. <laughs> I still have Cell here, right? Cool. That was good damage. Let's just go for this. Okay, Vanish is going, I win. Just how that works. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Here, I'll go to Cell for fuck. Fun's sake, fuck it. Destroy a card there. He has more because he has double card draw speed on main. So I just rush? Maybe. Ah. Uh, oh, you have a lot of fucking cards. Alright, go, Dragon Fist, go, my brother, go! You are popping at the scenes! Wait, is it the seams or scenes? Nonetheless, yeah, this is it's pretty solid damage. Cell's damage inflicted, by the way. I want to touch on it. He gets 15% from the uh, equipment, which is just a raw damage inflicted. You know, there's like base equips, there's just pure equips. That's just the raw damage inflicted that's just adding on to him there. So he has 15% there, then he gets a Saiyan, I believe, or a hybrid Saiyan. He does get um, more, but let me just look at it to be extra sure. Cell gets... Okay, so that match, he had... 15 from the equipment. Then he has 35% because that's a Saiyan. Obviously not a hybrid there, but a Saiyan. Then he has 80%. So he's already at 115% without the gauge. Has 4% cut. Then he has 10% more when they swap. So that's 125%. Then he has his big uh, revival, anti-revival thing going on. Then with gauge. So remember, he's at 125% when they swap. Just against a Saiyan. That's a Saiyan, not a hybrid. Then with gauge. He's at 175%. We had a gauge very early on there. So we were at 175% for basically the entire match. It could have been higher if they kept swapping in and out. In and out. I believe the green card does also give you the damage inflicted as well. Where you do get, yeah, 15%. Even on activation, it's a quick green card, so you can just miss it and throw it out there. Yeah, so we were at about 175% for the entire match. You look at Ultras, they enter with like 110. Gogeta can, you know, obviously get to 130. Vegito could, you know, do these debuffs. But, uh, Cello's an LF that's nine months old. He's getting 175, essentially, from existing. I mean, without the gauge there, he's still hitting ultra levels of damage afflicted on entry if they're just a Saiyan or a hybrid. And spoiler alert, Saiyan or hybrids are probably the most uh, used tags in the game. Like, the most notable tags, the most hype tags. It's going to be something you're going to run into a lot. And if it were a hybrid there, just for the sake of what if, which we're going to run into one eventually, it would have went from 185 to 215% damage afflicted. And then, just to gas him a little bit more, I like Cell, if you can't tell. He has 50% cut pen for <laughs> 20 target counts on main, with, I believe his ultimate does get damage inflicted on the ultimate itself, 30%, not too much, but he's going to cut 50% with 215% damage inflicted peak, and go even higher off the green card, off the swap. You would think he's pretty good. A, a little bit. Again, he was never a fault of himself. It's kind of like... I wouldn't say GV in particular, but most comparable to GV, where GV does good damage, but their defenses are so ass, but they have some sustain, but they need Zenkai buffs to really sustain well enough. So can sustain on his own. He's fine enough to sustain on his own. It's just fine enough isn't good enough. Um, you need to be a god to your sustainable unit and then have really good damage output. He has the really good damage. He has honestly exceeding damage than a lot of units that you run into now, but his sustain is not as... Uh, comprehensible on top of his color just isn't it but he's still obviously going to hit very fucking hard as you can see i know this uh cell video but is it fair to say vegeta blue is one of the most like not i mean balanced right i feel like it's fair to say vegeta blue is one of the most balanced units that like is meta right now i really like that for him honestly he deserves like to be in a spot where he's not like over talked about because look this is very extreme that he could do this. It's ridiculous that he could do that. But 
it's not like he can do that 24-7, he's just, like, fucking everything in sight. No, he's doing that occasionally. And people don't know what they're doing, kind of like this, where they're just kind of just, you know, clicking cards. I don't know, I really like Vegito Blue. I was obviously not a big fan of him when he first came out, because, well, Vegito Blue was incinerating everyone's anuses inside out, and that's really not cool, in my opinion. I'm really not a fan of that. But, how he is now, it's a very, uh... Snipe-esque unit that just does what he wants to do in such a nice manner. I, I feel like, again, I talked about it in the other video, that green-green-red setup. I hate giving up Vegito Blue because how, like, simplistic he is with just the sniping man, with the ultimate just doing so incredible on damage. Love Vegito Blue. Love that guy. Also, uh, yeah, I can't really do much here, but I killed two units within the first 25 counts, so, uh, yeah, that's cool. Good luck. Um, I don't know what you're gonna do here. Okay. You have 2.1 million HP. Do you not have an HP bench? That's not good. Oh, I didn't pop main. Okay. Okay. Bye bye. Cell doesn't want to die there. I don't want to lose my bug man. Hey, sealed your main. Good thing you already popped it. Oh, I'm probably going to get ulted here. Alright, have it. Oh, he vanished. I wouldn't have vanished there if I were you. I would have just gone for it. It's to be real, but. Fog it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll just do this to destroy Dragon Ball, right? Oh, that sucks. Uh, are you dead? I have Gage. 2.1 is not a lot. Oh, you're fucking dead. You're deader than Toast. Yeah. All right, yeah. <laughs> like I mentioned, Cell's output was never an issue for him. Again, it's like GV. Their output is good. Just the sustainability for both these units is really not good at all. Obviously, GV has a little bit more because... Healing per doing just arts in general, you know, any arts on both tag esque units is good. Sell only on gauge, only on main. I know it sounds like it's a lot of healing, but it's not. It's also not. I guess it is safe, fine, but it's not something you could bank on. Like, I can't bank on me always getting my gauge every single match to get the heal off. I. You could, I could bank on it for, like, a combo extension and to, like, get a big damaging ultimate because I did that or I want more damage inflicted on my arts. For sure. But I'm not going to think, like, oh, my God, let me save this gauge for his heal. No. It, what the fuck? Let me get my damage. Let me just beat the shit out of him before I need to heal. Like, that's simple logic there. With units like uh, Vegeta with per new combo they take, that's a sustainable heal. You're always going to take combos. Gogeta, per gauge they get, that's a sustainable heal because you're always going to get... Uh, your combo's done, whether you had them locked in, whether you just get a green card into Gogeta and you just infinite combo, even disadvantage, you're trying to maintain them. The droids, sustainable heal because they just do their arts and they have good defenses alongside that. Cell, again, the only issue I really do see with him without, you know, the cover null, which, I mean, cover null is... Cover null is something that it honestly comes down to skill. I know a lot of situations you just want cover null for safety purposes, but like... If you know what's going on, you know when to drop. I dropped there. You saw me drop against 4Q. It wasn't probably the smartest thing to do, but it worked out because I figured he'd come in because you don't want your dragons taking damage. The logic is you kind of think of the opponent's shoes of, hey, I just got my unit fucking destroyed, so why would I want my second unit destroyed? Let me just get the fuck out of here as quick as possible, right? That's kind of how I thought when I was like, okay, let's drop combo with Cell. Probably going to swap to 4Q. It worked out. A lot of times it doesn't work out. It's just a mixed bag of, again, learning to predict and then knowing your opponent's playstyle. Cover null is the thing you want, but it's the least necessary thing that you can get. Like, I'd much rather have a type neutral than a cover null, right? It's just, I can't force a type neutral situation. They literally are just thrown at you if you do get them. But if you have something that forces it, obviously it's better than like a cover null. But I digress, sell. Amazing output, Vegito Blue, amazing snipe potential. If you don't swap from Vegito Blue's single strike into a secondary strike when you're a red unit, you are dying. It's just how it is. Very lucky I drew a blue card there on the beginning, but nonetheless, those two strikes would have probably gotten MUI to like 5% HP, and that's just, that's Vegito Blue on his own, not really Zenkai buff besides himself, but like, he's always going to be that way, just existing. And, and that's Vegito Blue, a very solid tier unit. You definitely need a high stars for him to be very solid, but he is two years old, so should be okay and not at like 10 or 11, right? Okay. Uh, Ultra Vegito on Godaki, right? Right, okay. I see. 
I see the vision. I mean, I'm not a fan of the vision, but I see the vision. Yeah, I kind of figure it because you want to go for that crazy blast armor. See what I mean with his damage? It, it's not like I'm, like, amping him here. It, it's just him being him. And, and that's all I really asked for, Vegito. Truly. Not even a big fan of fusions in general. Probably shouldn't spam there. Yeah, that's probably a little bit dumb, but it'd be like that. Show a card, show a Dragon Ball. Unfortunate. I'll let Cell take it. How much? That's not too bad. He had support there as well, MUI. Green card. I mean, I'll tap, but who knows what happens at this point. Tap again. Okay. Let's just go. Awesome, awesome. Vegeta Blue can't come in and uh, attempt some work. Obviously, Vegeta's probably coming in right here. Oh, no. Okay. Well, I have a situation for you. Aw, oh, fuck. Vegeta goes neutral on cover. This would obviously kill any other green unit, but Vegeta's neutral because cover. Damn it! Yeah, I mean, it still did a lot to type fucking neutral. Like, can't downplay that. Oh, he let me kill him. Big fan, big fan. Thank you. Yeah, I probably wasn't smart, but hey, you got the Dragon Ball off. Which is fine enough for me. Let's go to you, seal your main so you can't do some uh, tedious stuff. You're probably going to rush me here, actually, which is a Moscow Goku Black. Unfortunately, you got to go. That is what it is. Um, he did a green. He did a blue... He didn't do a blue. He didn't do a blue yet, right? My memory tells me he didn't. My memory is correct. Did I do a green card with this guy yet? He sidestepped stuff anyways. Appreciate that. Yes, Mazgo could block. If nothing else, their support is very nice. Uh, just a caveat to what else they can do, but they're also a uh, green card. It's very clutch there as well. Vegito blue LF? A very possible. Honestly, a very likely situation. Okay, it's fine. I nullify Dirge three counts. Yeah. Ultimate's doing this. It's so ridiculous because you can just miss your ultimate on purpose. I've done that so many times in videos. I've done that with GV's blue cards a lot of time. I miss on purpose and then it's like, if they don't have a blue card or ultimate back or something that can like quick initiate off of your uh, miss and just stop your rush, kind of like MUI doesn't have anything for that, you're free because right there, I didn't care if I got the LF or not. Obviously, I like to see the shiny little LF, but uh, why not just miss on purpose or just miss in general? Then boom, rush. He has no counterplay to that. He takes it. He gets LF. He doesn't take it. He vanishes. He gets Rising Rush into Null Finder and three counts. Every ultimate. Every ultimate that does have that. Very good. There's some that don't. Oh, I wish they did, but some that don't. But uh, most, like 99.9% .9 of modern units that are LFs, at least, uh, if not ultras, do have that Null Finder to three counts upon activation, which another caveat to Vegito Blue because there's some units that came out around this time, uh, I believe actually later, uh, <coughs> LF Broly, that don't. And it's sad. But Vegito Blue, he ain't LF Broly. <laughs> Nowhere near that. Please never, ever. This guy still got a plot equip. Broly could get a Zenkai, but let Vegito Blue last longer than Broly. I don't like LF Broly. He's very, uh, Oonga Boonga. Vegito Blue is at least more tamed now. Broly's not that good, but he could be very good. I don't, I just don't want Broly to be broken. A Z Broly, yes, not Super Broly. Super Broly's the mid. God key? No, I wish he brought Pablo Goku in. I saw him there, I was like, oh, is he actually coming? I wish, but no. Uh, this is the same exact team we just ran into in DC Don. This should do a lot of damage. This Weast does not seem to be as tanky. All right, that's very good. Yeah. Very solid outfit there. Nice. I waited one millisecond before sidestepping there. I don't know if it was seen, but yeah, I did wait a little bit because people like to uh, wait for your sidestep, so I waited a second for my own sidestep. We'll blast here. Not really negative to that. Okay. I'm gonna pop green. Remove your vanish. See how I throw this blue card. If it hits, great. If it doesn't hit, who cares? Oh, 50 50 here. Oh, tap. Went for a safe play. I see. Okay. Oh, I thought I had main. Now I have main. Yeah, him dying is not good, but subsequently Vegeta could also beat the shit out of my Vegito Blue as quickly as I just beat the shit out of his MUI. So, uh, I'm gonna attack here. Fingers crossed for no PV. Well, Vegito Blue! 
you will get the same treat. Oh, you dropped. I think that was accidental. I'm hopeful for your sake that was accidental because there was no reason to drop there. Yeah. I think that was just an accidental as a, uh, I don't know, legend slag or some bullshit happened. You know, frame delay on his own part. Something, but uh, yeah. Vegito Blue. I like when you can destroy. Also, I hate MUI, so I just have more love for Vegito Blue because consequently he destroys MUI. Also destroys the androids on the 17 because obviously you lose 17 every time. Um, I love him because of that as well. But the sniping potential of just one catch, red unit dead, I, I very much like the mentality of I even suck at the game, but hey, I could still kill MUI. I like that for myself. <laughs> when it's against me, well, I don't use MUI, so it's not against me. But for myself, it's a great feeling. LOE. Alright, I've not seen this in a little bit here. It's interesting to run to LOE. Especially with the environment of uh, what PvP is right now, I wouldn't say LOE is particularly ideal. I mean, it's not bad, but like... This is very good from Frieza, huh? Hmm. Not bad, Frieza. I'm just farming Dragon Balls. Don't mind me. I'll drop on purpose here. If you blast them, we're cool. Awesome. You are patient. You are very patient. All right. And this Frieza's built bulky. He's built very bulky. Nice. He fast swaps. Smart, smart. You want to fast swap. So you don't fast swap, then you get caught out, then you really get screwed over. This is going to be a drop combo, obviously, because I removed Vanish here. I don't need the uh, combo to continue there. Unfortunately, destroy my Dragon Ball. He's going to destroy another one here, but I'll destroy one of his. He probably has one. And we need to destroy a lot of balls in this match. A lot. You are very patient. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm done waiting. No more waiting. This guy's way too patient. So if I just don't wait, then it works out better. Oh, you overtapped. Okay, somebody's dead. Have fun. You pick. Uh, don't let Fulpa Frieza take too many hits, though. All right, all right. <laughs> he let him take too many hits there that he would have just got locked in and blue carded, so that would have been terrible. But instead, it'll be Rival Frieza. First left gone again, Vegito Blue. Strike, 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 strike. Blue card. You're going to probably kill somebody if not get them very low. Okay. Damn, this guy is patient as hell. Oh, I tapped! What? What? <laughs> Obviously I tapped. He went for a blast. You're crazy. What the hell? Why would you go for a blast there? I have Cell. Well, that sucks. I wish I knew you had a blue card. I think I'm going to pop this. That actually was a blast? Oh, fuck. Yeah, this guy is way too patient. Yeah. It, like, patience is a good thing, but when you're only patient, it becomes predictable at that point. Hoping with a guest here. Because he's probably going to rush me back, like I guess. Alright. Killing you out's good because you were the only free one here. And now we should be fine. Blue, we have a green. Uh, you know, green, we have a purple. Should be fine, but you never truly know. Gotta tap. I gotta tap one more time. Yeah, I couldn't. He was uh, anticipating such. He's going to pop main here. Oh, really? Are you going to rush? That's fine. You're gonna pop main here. Are you going for a blue card on the draw? Oh, you have more card. Hello? You got a lot of fucking cards, homie. Oh my god. Yeah, that's fine. Hopefully, you didn't get a dragon ball from that new hand. But uh, if you did, well, it'd be like that. I assume you didn't, considering you swapped. I assume you did, considering you swapped. Yes. I uh, see. That's what I thought in the first place. Maybe another green card. I have no clue at all. Uh, this probably kills, which is fine. I'm gonna tackle. He All he could do here is pop main and destroy my Dragon Balls, which... Oh no, I already rushed. Like, it doesn't, doesn't matter. He won't draw a card in time. Yeah. Oh, he drew a card there, though! Oh, nice. Congratulations. This will not kill. You're not neutral. Yeah. Let's throw this. Oh. You're back. That's not particularly great. That's very good, though. Uh, sell? Oh, it's lagging. Stop! 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 Oh my god, where the fuck did that come from? Just started nuking. This lag is really not it, though. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> yeah, you can see the uh, Strike Z abilities coming in clutch on the output of Golden Frieza there. Holy shit, that was a lot. Yeah, you're so patient. It's a, it's honestly a drawback to you. You wait too long for me to do something. That's fine. So I'll be all right here. Uh, no blue card. Damn, he has a lot of green. He can't go uh, neutral here, at least, unless he has a blue card, though. Can't kill me out. You double rush. I don't think you have one. Okay. Let's blast. <laughs> oh, my card costs. Oh, my card costs. And he had a blue card. Nice. Good RNG. I can't kill because I drew a green card. That sucks. We'll get Vanish back, though, and hopefully Cell can wrap this up eventually here. Shouldn't have doubled. Um, I think it's a smart play. Just do this. I am spamming that blue card. I'm going to keep this in. I'm going to keep that in. Because the fact that he had a double rush there to win that, it's good. Yeah. The fact that he had a double rush when I have Dragon Ball Destruction on two units. There you go. We obviously won that match, you know, without the situation of double rush. That match is already over, but... Hey, man, you got a double rush, you win the match. It typically is how it goes when you have a very good team. So, unfortunate, but double rush, go crazy. Truly. Is this movies? I have no idea what I'm facing. Obviously, Ultra Gogeta, yeah. I do have a green unit, so that's cool. Uh, this is Deadku. I have not seen Deadku in a hot minute. All right, sure. Show me something, Deadku. I'm just going to click my cards here. There is no reason to not just spam click cards. Yep. Okay. Have fun. If you go to Gohan, I'll go to Cell, but there's no need to even go to him here. Actually, you're probably going to him here. Good prediction. Obviously, a drop does help the combo comp situation for us here. And Cell... Will you swap? No. I made him revive within 13 counts. He has no key. Q recovery down. A minus two Dragon Balls, he probably didn't even have more than one Dragon Ball there. So we're gaming right now. Okay. Tap out. Oh. Thank God you went for a blast. You cannot do anything here, and I think Vegeta Blue could actually snipe kill you at this point. Oh, 600k, Vegeta Blue, I think you can manage this. The match is over. I overtapped. Shucks. The, the match is over. I'm sorry, but the, you cannot do this. And if you do, props. Truly props. But I, I don't. I don't foresee a future where this is possible for you, Chief. Especially with Cell here. Alright, cool. Nice. Now what happens? This won't be anything beyond belief. I mean, I can also heal twice, so it's just whatever. Cool. Nice. Pop off. Mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm Go off, Gohan. Sell? You'll be alright. Cool. Let's swap out. Well, didn't catch him, but... Oh, did catch you. Unlucky, and you also have no rush here. Did he sidestep? I couldn't hear it! He has a silent sidestep! He went like, here's my app, here's the swipe up, and uh, well, swipe up again, close out. If you're on iPhone, swipe up, swipe up. Gotta close that out. Cannot see that LF from Mr. Vegeta Blue. I concur. That would be tough to look at, but uh, <laughs> yeah. Like I say with Vegeta Blue, Sadly, you know Chunks were facing off against in this video, which I kind of expected it. He's the new LF after Anniversary. People just aren't summoning. They're fucking dry on CC. But, uh, hey, Vegito Blue! <laughs> I just auto-click cards. Vegito Blue does damage. Isn't that such a good, simple mentality? At least there, that felt like old Vegito Blue. The drop combo was very nice on Gohan, though, which clearly was uh, anticipated because why would you let the dead goo die? prior to the revival unit when the revival unit's meant to buff the revival, or the dead who's meant to buff the revival unit post-revival, right? 
Uh, Tapion, MUI, Dragon Fist. What do you even call this team? I have no idea. This is all strikes in hand, by the way. Oh, you're just gonna wait for me to sidestep. Okay. Smart. Oh. Okay. I guess. Let him build up, right? Hmm. Not too much HP there, though. So that's nice. They have more cards. <laughs> really went for that? Really thought that was it? Against my purple? <laughs> zero to 100, I'm real quick. Alright, or 100 to zero, sorry. Backwards. What are you doing? A blast there? Yeah, I get it. It's an MUI. At least we know now it's an MUI. <laughs> well, I wish you the best, but Tapion's dead. Do you want Tapion to not die? It's up to you, truly. Uh, Tapion actually might have done destroy the green card. You fucking rat. I know, I could have just done the green card and then, you know... Well, no, I actually could have. And I draw a green card there. Alright. <laughs> but a cell, 100-0 without getting his uh, gauge. It was just a raw 100-0. So that's very nice, uh, obviously. Is Tapion just dead here? I like to think he is. This is... What am I gonna do? I'm stuck. But he's probably dead. 700k? Well, barely. 20k extra than we needed. Um, this is very, very closable at this point. Wow. Yeah, I didn't think Cell so would 100-0 a Dragon Fist. I know that's a green unit. Cell's purple. Haha, <laughs> funny numbers. But, uh, I don't think that's anticipated. Good. Good. If it's an MUI player, Cell loves to LF them. Specifically them. But he's gonna leave. Oh, you're staying. So Cell 100-0'd somebody. He also got the LF. I think that's a good moment. Again, Cell's output was never in question. Cell's output is ridiculous, surpassing a lot of LFs that are even higher up than he is. But it's just uh, the color, and then the sustainability is just not as ideal as it is for other units. Again, Dragon Fist, heals per doing cards. You have a Jito, heals per taking a combo. Gogeta, heals per doing his combos because he's getting his gauge, etc, etc, etc. Even more so, Vegeta's green card heals like as much as Cell's, I think, uh, gauge gets back, and it's like, that's just ridiculous. Has a lot of potential there. Again, color-wise, is more the issue, but sustainability is also an issue. But one-shotting a Dragon Fist there is probably a good thing. Last match is Fusions. Uh, Cell's not free, but Vegito Blue, I believe, is free here, and you're not. Yeah, I'm about the purple Vegito. Huh? Blast. Okay, it went quickly, it worked out. I'll go for one more strike and then I'll go for a blast here. Awesome. And I assume you'll swap. Not the swap I anticipated, but sure. I actually won't go for the green card yet then. Let's just get a little bit more damage as we can. And now you go for green card, cancel. Well, yeah, all those uh, buffs he has up there. <laughs> Give him a little bit of debuff there though. Interesting, that worked out. Nice. Okay, PV there. Uh, obviously, I want to go into Cell, but a little bit spooked out by uh, the god back there. I'm going to drop. It was unnecessary. And shit. Well, well, this is the... At least this shows it out, I guess. This is why Cell is not in a perfect spot, because, well, this could happen. <laughs> this specific situation could happen, and I basically lost Cell. He's not dead yet, but he feels dead. You have a rush? Movie Vanish. Obviously, no, there's no point to rush here. It's, just, it's worthless. I don't feel like I have to rush this unit. And you'll swap after I throw this. Let's destroy Dragon Ball because I need to. It's not a blue card, is it? No. Destroy another Dragon Ball, though, so I'll take it. Again, I'll take the uh, utility of that when I can. I'll strike here. Okay. I think the smart play is to do this. Gogeta will take a lot. I don't think he'll die. I don't think anybody dies here, but it'll take a lot. 2.2, there's not much combo comp. I would hope he gets to like 500k. Again, you saw an issue with Cell there where there's a very strong yellow. He's going to get his ass beat. Simple math. Oh, 100, 287k, not bad. Tap again. Oh. 
This works out. Uh, if you don't swap here, you're gonna lose somebody. I thought I had Soul's main, I didn't anyways. Okay, that's bad. This is fine, whatever. That was a waste of my swaps then, that was dumb. I got the gauge, fuck you. You were trying to stop it the entire time. You can't swap to Vegeta. No, no, no shot. WHAT?! <laughs> okay. We have a health sword debuff because of Cell's main. I don't know if Vegeta Blue's health sword debuff is still there, so he healed less, but... Okay. Yeah, did I think he was back? Clearly not. He's literally at one. Now he'll heal because, uh, he's unique. Okay, he's dead. Not from Cell, but from you. Sheesh. Yeah, I didn't think he was back. Clearly. Still have Vanish. Not ideal. You have to rush? Hmm? You have all strikes in hand? Probably. No, of course you do. Unfortunate. Clearly. That's fine. Should win that. Oh my god, really? Jesus Christ, that was way too close for comfort. Alright, um... Assumably, this Vegeta will die. Can I? Can I have a strike? Really? Legends. Legends moment here. Wait, what are you doing? You thought that was a good play there? Why would you... What in the world are you thinking? <laughs> what is the risk reward for that? To try to swap Gogeta. Trust me, I would anticipate four fucking strikes as well. The risk reward is so low. We both got 999, but the stupid ass update where it gives you, oh, we're 0.1 millisecond off. And I got the advantage of that. That was crazy. That was a crazy Doki Baki. Very, <laughs> literally perfect Doki Baki for both players. I know you get a thousand, but... I think it's just an RNG chance to actually get like an RNG roll in the game. You don't actually like try for a thousand. You try for 999, obviously. But that was crazy, that Doki Baki. Nonetheless, though, Cell definitely did his output. You saw a situation, at least in one of these matches. So I'm glad to see a show his weakness of if there's a strong yellow, which Vegito does exist, uh, he'd get his ass beat. But subsequently, he one shot a green unit. He beat the fuck out of neutral units. He beat the fuck out of yellow units. So he can still do the damage. Just that his uh, sustain methods are not as ideal as other units, and that inherently lowers him. But he still is like a top 15 unit. Not anything bad, it's just he gains more value now that there's a strong green that has also come out alongside other strong greens, but he still has less value than other units because he's still purple. With that being said, let me guys think of LF Cell, and I'll see you guys in the next one.